Map Reading 3 Grid References The aim of this video is to assist you in being able to give a British national grid reference on UK maps and a military grid reference on operational maps. It is essential that as a soldier you are able to effectively give a grid reference to identify your own location or that of the enemy or prominent features on the ground. The intersecting blue lines on the map represent 1km by 1km squares on the ground. The vertical grid lines run eastward along a map and are called eastings, whereas the horizontal grid lines that run northward are called northings. When you state a grid reference, the easting is always first, followed by the northing. You may remember this by thinking along the corridor and up the stairs. A four-figure grid reference is made from the two-figure easting, as the first two numbers, followed by the two-figure northing. The point at which those two lines cross is the grid reference. In the example shown, the four-figure grid reference is 4767, which denotes a point that is in the southwest corner of the grid square. You would state this as 4767, not 4767. A four-figure grid reference is sufficient if you want to identify a large object like a village. However, you will want to identify positions more accurately than one kilometer square. A six-figure grid reference will identify a location to an accuracy of 100 meters, but requires you to break the grid reference down into tenths, as shown here. To give a six-figure grid reference of the place of worship circled in red, you must first identify the grid line to the left of the object, for example, 5-5, five, five, and moving along the dividing tenth lines until you reach three. Therefore, the eastings will be 5-5-3. Five, five, to give the northings, you identify the grid line below the object, 3-2, and again dividing the square into tenths, counting up from the bottom to get two, making the northings 322 two, and the entire six figure grid reference 553322. Two, two. To assist in the process of dividing the grid square into tenths, you can use the romers on a lightweight compass. As shown, each compass will have three romers relating to the different scales on a map and will break a grid square down for you without the need to draw smaller lines. In order to use a romer, Place the corner on the feature you want. The third figure in a six-figure grid reference is found by reading off the Roma, where the easting line intersects the horizontal Roma line, therefore making a six-figure where the northing line intersects the vertical Roma line. Taking a closer look at the map, you will see blue letters in each corner of the sheet. Each 100 km square has grid letters which split up a larger area of the world. Seen here in the UK is split up into 78 unique grid letters. When stating a grid reference using the British National Grid System, you must always include two letters that appear in the map sheet you are using before the four or six figure grid reference. The Military Grid Reference System, MGRS, is similar as it splits the world into a number of boxes called Grid Zone Designators, or GZDs. It splits those boxes up further and uses two letters to mark each new 100 km square map sheet which when placed in front of a grid reference, give an example as shown. With the GZD highlighting where in the world you are looking, the two letters narrowing it down to what country or area of a continent, and finally the grid reference telling you to an accuracy of 100 meters for a six-figure grid reference where on the ground a feature is.